Hello, beautiful women. This is Eloquently Emmy, and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do a Saint Makeup eyeshadow tutorial. And our inspiration is going to be the beautiful Monarch Butterfly that you saw previously in the intro. And um, yeah, I'll just throw a little image above here. Um, it's time for Monarchs in South Carolina where I live and they're out in my butterfly garden and they're out everywhere and they're just beautiful. So I am going to use um, some new shades and some old shades and um, some creative inspiration to create this stunning look uh, and show you exactly how I apply everything. Um, some of the new shades we're gonna use are um, Aries and Moscow for the drama and you can see the Moscow up in the upper corner of my eye. Um, it's like, it is the color of a monarch's wing. And I just, I didn't think I could pull it off because I'm so cool, neutral, neutral toned. And, um, and then my dark eyebrows and um, just, yeah, this is the look we're gonna create. And I just adore it and I know you will too. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, ladies, let's get started with the Saint Makeup Eyeshadow Tutorial. Okay, so, um, I'll first say that I have the L'Oreal uh, Unlimited Waterproof Mascara on already, so you don't have to watch me put it on. And I'll just put it right up there for you to see. And um, so yeah, let's just begin, get down to it. Um, I have been using the um, MAC Vintage Selection Primer, and then I kind of switched to this ELF Primer, and then I've done a whole 360 to something that I used to use for the longest time and I'm finding that I'm really loving this. So this is, um, it's, it's the MAC in the paint pot, but it's called Painterly. And, um, and it's just sort of um, nude, I would say. And it, the MAC, you can't beat it as an eye primer. So let me just put that on my eyes right now. And um, as with the same makeup, everything I do, I'm dabbing. And it's the same with this. So I'm just going to uh, use this palette and Dab on, just really lightly. Be sure not to get it stuck in these creases right here. It's just, it's so easy to do. Um, so just take care with that. And I'll just take my other finger and do this eye. Actually, well, can you see the difference? I started this eye, but there you go. And don't, don't dab into the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, so I'm just lightly dabbing this area. And now, and you can see, I've got a nice um, canvas to work with. Okay, so let me just wipe my fingers really quickly. And then, to help with our canvas, I'm going to um, dip into the vanilla dust. Okay, and this is just, I could have my eyes closed and do this. Okay, I don't really even need. So this way you will get a better blend with your eyeshadows. Okay, so you know our inspiration was the beautiful monarch uh, butterfly. And of course, I'm not wearing colors. This is a little warm for Miss um, Cool, um, soft and cool, but I'm a little contrasty too. I'm very much on the fence. <laughs> so, um, but I'm gonna go for this um, beautiful monarch butterfly, leopard inspired kind of feeling. And um, I'm gonna mix one of my, the. The two main colors that I'm gonna use are, um, are Blondie and then the new Moscow. <laughs> so just that will well, be my little drama point. So um, yeah, we're really gonna go, go for it here with something interesting and, and bright. So um, yeah, so let me get, get going with that. So I'm gonna dip into one of our new colors, Aries, and I'm just gonna go right up here too, just to even brighten my canvas a little more so you can see how that looks. Okay, so let's get into it. Yeah, so one of my absolute favorite new colors is Eve, and that's what I'm going to use to contour my eyes. So this is, um, besides preparing the canvas like I just did, um, this is the most important step in application if you have a hooded eye, okay? And uh, many people have hooded eyes, they're just, 
that's their eyes. And as you lose collagen as you get older, like me, 55, you have to do a little sculpting to achieve the kind of look that you want. And I can do that with the same makeup and I love it. So here I go, dipping into the Eve. Now Eve is pretty intense. So you don't need a lot as you're going to see. And so I'll just get to it. All right, so I'm going to go in my natural crease right now. I'm gonna do it, actually I'll do this. And then I'm gonna come down on an angle, see? So I've created sort of a, a triangle there. Okay, you can see that? Okay, just like that. So in the crease and then come down in an angle. Then I'm gonna, I am just touching this and I'm blowing. So the powerful stuff, but beautiful. You're going for tones, okay? Don't let the colors, it's, it's the light hand and everything. Go for the tones. Uh, don't worry and go light. And so now I'm going to create my illusion crease, which is going to give my eyes depth. Okay, so I'm gonna do that right now. And I, what you need to do is keep your eyes open like this. My, my fringe is there, but I'm, I'm used to dealing with it. Okay, and see how I'm keeping my eye open and creating this illusion crease. And then I'm gonna make it meet, right? I'm gonna make the triangle meet the new illusion crease. Okay, and then I'm just gonna give it a light blend. Now, all I've done is this so far, but look at the difference already. It looks like two different eyes in the depth of, of this eye. Okay, and I haven't done, you know, so I'm, we're just getting started. But boy, does this make a difference already. I mean, I'm looking at this, this is so, so pretty. And um, yeah, it's just, it's like magic. So let me do the other eye and dip into the right color, that'd be good. Okay, so again, I'm going to my natural crease. Okay, and I'm going down on an angle like this. As you get older, take care not to go out too far. Don't pull your eyes too far because I find that that can make them kind of look droopy, okay? And we don't want droopiness. Okay, so here I am going in, um, creating the illusion crease, okay? And I'm joining it up to the triangle. I love this color. This is absolutely gorgeous. All right, so now we've really got some depth going on and, and I'm loving it. Um, and you can always just sort of soften it with a little blend, but this color will remain. And I'm going to go into um, my next color and I'm gonna use my Saint makeup tile for the eyeshadow to kind of clean in between. <laughs> I just, I'm so busy. I uh, have a lot of different um, things going on. So, um, Yes, let's, um, let's do this. Let's, I'm gonna just take a little bit of, of ginger, which again is out of my comfort zone, and I'm going to bring it up here. Right here, this is the smudge brush from Saint, and I'm just bringing the ginger right up. Hit the ginger again. Okay, so, the Eve is more purpley and everything, but the ginger, of course, is more like an orange. Um, yeah, and so I'm liking how that's looking. Okay, then I'm going to flip over and I'm going to dip into Blondie, okay? Hence almost the color of what's in my shirt here. And I'm going to apply that right next to the ginger. I'm bringing it up too, but you can still see my crease work. Okay, again, right next to the ginger. And I'm dabbing, everything's dabbing with this makeup, everything's dabbing. Okay, and um, yeah, so I'm really liking how this is looking. And I'll just apply a little more. All right, so can you see that? <laughs> I really like it. So that's where we're going so far. So now I want to, um, yeah, I want to do a little drama point. So let me clean this off here. And I'm going to use my eyeshadow brush again. I'm going to dip in 
to the Moscow. Okay, and I'm gonna do a little drama point right here. Okay, it's right at the top. Oh yeah, this is so pretty. All right, so, and again, right here. It's like the color of a monarch butterfly's wings. So it's gorgeous. And so, and I just, you know, you just need a little bit to bring in that drama. And you see how good that cleaning towel works because I just had Eve on here. And you see that that color came in nice and crisp. Push. Can you see it? Isn't it nice? I love it. All right. So I'm liking that nice and high with a drama point. You really want it to show. Okay, so now I'm gonna come in um, with my detail brush and I'm gonna bring a little bit of the Eve underneath my eye because uh, I like the color and I'm just going to make it join up to the other colors. And I think it makes my eye look better and bigger. <laughs> so um, that's why I do that. And I just think it gives it more continuity and it just depends what you're used to and, and um, what you like. So just go with that, you know, see what works for you. All right, so same thing here. I'm just getting a little bit of that Eve in there and then joining it up to the other eyeshadow. Okay, so let me, um, I haven't blended yet, but let me give you a look at what this is looking like now. Okay, it's very pretty. All right, now I'm flipping this brush over and I'm going into my love, Sabrina. <laughs> I love this color. It's just, it just brings light into your eyes and I'm gonna go right here on the inner. Okay, and do a little more here. And then on the inside of my eye here, Already, see how it's brightening? It's so nice. And then I'm gonna just dip in the tip and I'm going to put some right at the arch of my eyebrow to bring light up there and, and you know, raise it and lift it. So I like that. I almost feel like my eyebrows being so dark and then, um, and then the Moscow, I really feel it. And then, the, you know, the, the gold and everything. It, it, it does kind of mimic this with the ginger, this kind of butterfly look I'm going with. So inspiration and um, yeah, I'm liking how this is looking. So speaking of eyebrows, mm, let me dip into the coal. Okay, so this is so easy and it makes such a difference. I'll do the one eyebrow, I guess on the right and um, let you look at that and the difference. And all I'm doing, I dipped in with my line brush and I think I'm gonna take it this way. And it's so easy, I'm just following the line of my eye. And if you get a little down, you could just straighten it out here with a Q-tip. But, okay. There you go. Um, all right, so it might look a little dark at first, but then, I'm gonna take the spoolie side and just work it in like that. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little more right here. Okay. All right, all right, look at the difference in definition. It's night and day. And I, it, you saw how fast I did it. So again, I'm just going to, to do the other eyebrow Follow the line. The coal works really well on me, um, but um, if you're lighter than me, you can always try Trust or Oak. They're good ones. I'm trying to work through my, my fringe here. Always make sure you get this front part and get down to the edge and you know, you want the bulk of the color in the arch and then just spoolie it. All right, so I'm really having a, a lot of definition going on there and I'm liking it. Um, okay, so now I think I just want a little more of that Moscow. And then I'm just gonna take a brush. This is not a same brush, it's just a little brush that I love and I'm gonna blend inward, just blend everything. 
almost like pat blending. Okay. All right, so we're not done yet, but take a look. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so we're just going to do a little bit of lining. All right, uh, let me grab my Plum Age um, by Marc Jacobs, okay? And I'm just going to work that in. I like the plum, I don't wanna go as deep as a black on the top. Um, and then I think I'm gonna do something else. But this is almost like a tight line. It's a little hard because I have mascara on, but. Okay, and I do it this eye. And I just think it just gives it that little bit of pull without having a mess, you know, on the crease of your eye. And if you have any crepiness, sometimes the tight lining is the way to go. So you know how I took the detail um, brush before? I am going to dip a little bit of that into um, the Moscow and I'm just gonna take it right here. Okay, right at the base of the lashes here. I like that and do the same thing for this eye. I'm just looking, making sure that you can see me. I think that looks really cool. Okay. All right, so now this, um, Oh, this is a brand new one, but this is my, um, I haven't used it, so I, <laughs> yet. Um, I get them delivered from Amazon like every three months, but it's my Stila All Day Liquid Eyeliner Pen. And I'm having a shoot at five o'clock tonight, so um, this, this will stay. Um, it stays all day, my professional photography, and I love it. So I'm just gonna give it a little shake, and hopefully it comes out, behaves. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have uh, used a brand new one on a, uh, video, but here we go. And the trick to this is applying it um, horizontally. Don't try to apply it like a pen or you'll be there all day with a Q-tip. Um, and I have my mascara on, so it's gonna make it more challenging. So I'll just be quiet and apply it. Oh, that rhymes. <laughs> okay. All right, so how's that for a detailed line? And look how much bigger it makes this eye look. But there's no getting around it for me. Um, so you can try it, you know, it might, it might help. So I'm gonna do the other eye now. Okay, and there's the other line. So I love this. And we'll just give it a little second while I'm putting the cap on to, to dry because the next thing I'm gonna do is a technique that I started doing it and I really think that it, it brightens my eyes and gives it that special look. Um, last night we went out to the Flipside restaurant in um, Rock Hill. We had a delicious dinner, so I, I recommend them. They had nice small plates. Um, I had the... Um, Surf and turf skewers with the mandarin salad. It was absolutely delicious. Um, so yeah, the flip side, Rock Hill, check it out. Um, I love to support local businesses. All right, so um, yeah, I am going to take um, the Marc Jacobs Oh My Gold. And yeah, this is what I was talking about. So we go out to dinner and I'm jazzing it up and everything. But it, you can do it in the daytime too. I mean, I'm gonna have this all on for my, um, my shoot tonight. So I'm actually going to put this in the waterline of my eye. Um, so uh, make sure you have it extended enough to get in there and I'll stop talking.
And I'm also gonna like put it right here, like intentionally, a little bit of gold glimmer right here in my tear duct, okay? Okay, so look at the difference here to here. So I'm really liking that, okay? And I'll do it to the other eye now. I wear contacts too, by the way, so it doesn't bother them. In case you're wondering. Mm, okay. All right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Let me give you a nice close up look. Okay. Okay, so yeah, that is that is our eyeshadow look inspired by the monarch butterfly and using warm colors to go with my warm leopard blouse um, and you know just to pick up on that contrast and just to you know just to get creative and um, yeah I think all the things I did it just really makes my eyes sparkle and stand out and it's not too much and I just I just adore the Saint eyeshadow and um, it's just so easy to work with and you can get as creative as you want or, you know, or as natural as you want. But today, of course, we went very creative. So I hope you really enjoyed that eyeshadow tutorial today. And I hope you found it helpful and found some um, different creative inspiration and application tips that you find helpful with the Saint makeup. I, you know, I, I love this makeup and I enjoy it so much. And. Um, I just like to do creative things with it. I just, it, it's given me back my, my sparkle, my glow. I, I'm 55 and I just love, I love what the, the, you know, foundation or highlight makeup does for me and everything and the contour and the lip and cheek. But boy, today was about eyeshadows and boy, did we, did we, um, <laughs> did we match that monarch uh, kind of in a real soft way and just bring light into our eyes with this look. Um, this was just, I just find it stunning. And I like to kind of sometimes, you know, get a little glamorous and jazzy and kind of step out of my comfort zone. And, and these colors are not in my palette, so, um, but I think we pulled it off really well and I think it looks really good. Okay, so I just want you to know that I would really love to be your artist. And if you'd like to get started with the Saint Makeup, just click the link below in the description. Okay, and you can also reach me at eloquentlyemmy at gmail.com. Okay, and then you will just fill out the brief survey and it just has a few questions about, you know, what you like in your makeup, um, a little bit about your skin and how much, you know, how you want the application, whether you want it, you know, heavier, more natural, or just the ability to do both. Um, and I will pick the shades that match your skin tone perfectly. Um, because what you will do is you will send me a natural light selfie with no makeup and no filters, just like the one above. And then I will send you a beautiful full length color match. Okay. With all the colors that match your unique skin tone just perfectly. Okay. There'll be uh, pictures of all the products with the names, and then there'll be a face map and to show you just how to apply it and then there'll be written instructions at the bottom. Okay, and then I'll attach videos or, you know, there'll be, there's so many videos on my YouTube channel. So, um, and I even have it in segments if you're short on time. I have Saint in segments. So go watch those videos, ladies. And um, yeah, get caught up with um, all the different techniques and um, just creative styles that I've created. Um, so yeah, so if you, um, if you like content like this, don't forget to click like and subscribe and then hit the bell for notifications. And yeah, I really um, love this. I wanna be your artist. I enjoy doing this. Um, and yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And always remember to wear your sunscreen and to live life passionately.